a couple weeks ago I was reached out by a company and I've never heard of this company before and I believe they're based out of California they are a beef jerky company and they were willing to send me a couple of their uh, beef jerky to try out and of course I wasn't gonna say no to food and so I was like yep send it my way and I'd, I'd love to test it out for you just to try it out and see what I think about it and so they sent me three different kinds because I believe they only have three flavors at the moment and it's right here so the brand is called Top Shelf by K&M and they have three flavors so for example this one right here is Wretched Heat because there's that checkbox right next to the Wretched Heat and then they have Triumphant Teriyaki and Savory Salvation and so you know when I, they sent me this I wasn't really thinking anything too different just kind of thought it was just any old beef jerky well that is until I actually started trying and so again although it's beef jerky it's classified as beef jerky I don't know what they did but the texture and the flavor of these beef jerky are way different and I think this is the easiest demonstration so you can kind of just peel it off like it's just super tender and it's very stringy and honestly I only have one piece left in this one. I already finished the Triumphant Teriyaki because I really like that one. And I have the most of the Wretched Heat last because when they say Wretched Heat, they're not really lying. It's actually pretty spicy, even for me. I just wanted to plug that in because when you're out here hunting, I'm always trying to look for different snacks, look for different things I can eat on a hunt because when you're hunting, for several months straight, you can't always eat the same thing. At least I can't always eat the same thing. And if I eat the same thing over and over and over, I find that I just don't eat food anymore because I get tired of it. So if you're looking for nude and good beef jerky, check out Top Shelf by K&M. Day three of turkey camp with John and Jason today. I'm up to bat to shoot. Jason's tagged out on both his birds. John still has one tag, and I still have one tag. So I'm shooter first because John shot his two days ago. And we're hiking to a spot. Mainly throughout this trip, we've been dealing with a lot of hot weather, but today we got some overcast. So we're gonna hike in. And we're hiking in today because this is turkey killing weather. And if he's willing to throw his gun in my hands, we got a couple of birds coming in. I got a tag still, so you know, we'll see what happens. Who knows, so if we get lucky, we might pull a double. <laughs> so we're just gonna hike our way in, maybe like a mile or so before it opens up and we can glass or locate. And then from there, we go where the turkeys are, if there's any turkeys. Our strategy right now is pretty basic. We're walking along this road that cuts up pretty high on the ridge. And every time we walk to a little point, we just call into that valley, walk to the next point, call into that valley. And you always wanna, not always, but you tend to always be high in when you locate. That way your sound travels better and you can also hear better if there's a response. So that's all we're doing, nothing crazy. So far, no response. That's turkey hunting though, trial and error, just. Just gotta keep on pressing, even though they're not talking. And right now it's like 8.30. And typically from my experience, from seven o'clock to 10 o'clock, that's usually what I consider the morning lull where these birds, they hit the ground, they go quiet. They're just not really vocal. And then as afternoon approaches, birds can start lighting back up.
This is our final morning. We snuck back into one of John's spot right off the shelf. We have a couple gobblers, but there's one like right here in front of us. So I, I'm sat down right on the edge of this ridge. John and Jason backed up a little just because it's so open here. Hopefully he pitches down to the side of the ridge and walks up to this flat. We're on a very flat bench and then it drops off. So hopefully he comes up to this bench to strut around and gives me a shot. Fingers crossed. That was very fun. There's too many hands. Did you guys see him? No, we can hear him spitting and drowning. Did you see him? I did see him. Saw him for like five seconds. Where? He came in through that far gap. Way out there? Yeah, he was, he was far. He came up and then he went behind those brush and he was spitting and drumming. I can hear him spitting and drumming like crazy. Yeah, he was spitting. That's why I turned this way because I thought he was going to pop out far left, but then he, he never came out. He just seemed like he just went off that way. Like one of those hands. Couple of them. That one sounds like it maybe across the creek. Even. No, he's down on the lower. There's a far knob, but they'll come off that too. Found a new bird. He's up on this little knob below us. I'm gonna try to pull him up.
Uh, maybe. It's long beard. Yeah. Long shanks. <laughs> I'm just gonna do wide. Cause I don't I don't know which one. Sounds like we got a new bird that just jumped on the scene.
Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my. I, I can't believe that. That's that shotgun is so me. loud. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, buddy. <laughs> you work for that bird. Congrats. <laughs> I could see its head poking up as he popped up. I was going to try to film it, and I'm like, no, I'm going to keep my... Oh, I just got done telling him we shot a bird in the exact spot. Yeah. I mean, this is why this tree is cut out. <laughs> I did this with a first-time turkey hunter buddy of mine. Oh. You got to send a picture of this to him. He's in Japan. He'll die. Dude. Same spot. <laughs> I was waiting for him to go full strut, but then uh, he, he just kept looking, and he gave me that wing flap, and I was he, like... He flipped the wing, yeah. I was like, all right, that, he, that's the signal. He flipped the wing. <laughs> my goodness. Oh, we worked that bird. Yeah. From the bottom. He came. That's, he's not even one of the other birds that was gobbling. He came from nowhere. Did you yeah, hear him? I don't think these other two were No, they went that way. This was not the original yeah. one. No, no. This was the one that we heard out of nowhere. He was way out there and just kept coming. I thought he was going to walk right here. See, here's the trail I was talking about. Uh, yeah, I thought he was going to walk right here, and I'm so like, this I. is picture perfect. Stud. Dude, at first you were like, I looked at him because he came with the head. I was like, is that a hen? And you're like, that's him. I'm that's like, really? Him. I hesitated for I'm a like, bit. That's him. He's here. He gave you his last gobble and he stepped right up in front of you. Did you hear him coming from a distance? Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah and then it, those last two or three gobbles were definitely up top. And yeah. I'm like, and I peeked up a little bit. I could see his head in line with the decoy from where I was at. And I'm like, I'm sinking back down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a nice bird. He's a good bird. I'm happy with him. Oh, that's awesome. Ah, oh, well, <laughs> last day of magic. Oh, yeah, baby, <laughs> Jason's yeah. Jason's got to go. He's got to go home early. Yeah, <laughs> it's no. the thumping right here, there brother. Yeah. yeah it's, awesome. been a it's been a blast. Oh, what a blast. See, like, you guys. This is how I like turkeys. The ones where they, they need a little bit of work. Yeah, but they still respond. Yeah. Let you know they're was that awesome or was that awesome? Oh. That's so awesome. The flipping A team here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful spot. I, I didn't realize how, how good it looked down there. Yeah, that's why I wanted to. He can't go down there though. But oh, they yeah. we would have got busted. Yeah. From, he came from that drainage, he was but way down so in the drainage. Faint when I first heard him, and I'm like, yeah. it's a new bird, John. Yep. It's like, and I'm glad because the other ones weren't gonna come in. They just actually, as soon as they heard him, they like backed off. That's awesome. We got it done. Four birds. <laughs> The amount of turkeys that had dropped to this call this year, yep. I've lost count. <laughs> Literally, I've lost count of this. It worked out perfect, too. We told Cy he had to call his own bird in. That's right. So I'm like, you're him. calling this bird in, man. Located I'm just, it. Called I'm it. just going to blame Phelps and John. They couldn't call me in a bird. So it's I was like, like yeah. I'll, I'll do it myself. <laughs> you guys, you, great effort, valiant effort. But yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll do it myself. Do I'll do this. No, but in all seriousness, though, dude, this Chris Paris call, oh, like, yeah. uh, dude, it's been killer. Kill zone. <sighs> Way out there. Another one. You still got a tag. Beautiful yeah. bird. Yeah, this That's guy's gorgeous. Yeah, he's in stud. Look at those big feathers. Wide feathers. Big feathers. That's a great bird. I'm you, stoked. That is a you great bird. you hold that bird. call for me? Out in front. Like this? You want the oh. Chris Parrish side? Yeah. This side? I was actually just texting Parrish about the bird that was... Oh, really? The, the other side that kills him. You, you want the, yeah, the Phelps, the Phelps side, side? Just so we can... <sighs> Perfect. So if you go back, there's a video I have out that's called Nick's First Bird. If you watch that video, you'll see the exact same shot go down. I still don't think it's <laughs> in the, the same beard spot. From there, though, it's a good. Shot go I still don't think beard. it's the, the beard from the other day, though, is it? No, no. no. The, the other guy was super thick. Yeah. I think he was the one gobbling that the, the, didn't come in. Yeah. But oh, dude, this, this is a pretty bird. He's gorgeous. This is a. Big I wish guy. he would have just strutted one time. I know. But he did it. I was like, whatever. Well, he's staring for the voice. He looked right at you. Yeah. I mean, that his was feathers. It. I can tell he hasn't been breeding hens because he still has all his chest feathers. That's awesome. Dude, I'm stoked with him, man. Yeah, that's awesome. That was a great hunt. That was a beautiful hunt. What a great morning. I mean, look at that. Yeah. Thing Dude, we just turkeys, were, turkeys were all gobbling this morning, yeah. and I'm just like, wow. Yeah, we were talking down the road that um, it's nice that you don't win them all, but every <laughs> once in a while you want to flip the switch and yeah. win. So it was, uh, we, <laughs> it worked. We just had, me and John just had to stop calling. That was the switch we needed yeah, yeah, to flip yeah. was uh We're like, we're, that's it, we're done. So, so, we're so you're on, you're on your own. You're it's on your own. funny, it took, me, it took a little bit of coaxing before I was willing to pull this call out. I was like, <laughs> I, I have faith in you guys, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> We do too, but I want to see you call yeah. your bird in. That was fun. Yeah, that, was that was so fun. Great awesome. ending. 
partings are such sweet sorrow. Back to camp breaking down. Yep. What a awesome. Brother, I can't even, five can't even days. tell you. What, you know, way better than anything we could have hoped for, I think. Turned out a lot better than what I was expecting. Yeah. I was like, Man, if Phelps comes out here, we shoot one bird, I'm happy. Well, <laughs> quadded that. Four birds down. <laughs> Epic friendships. Great time with guys in the woods. Yeah. I mean, you just, you know, boys being boys, having a good time. That was awesome. Chasing birds. Appreciate you, John. Thanks for making it. Oh, same to you, brother. Sure enough, we got this man over here. <gasps> Sweating. Sweating. <laughs> the camp teardown. This was the, the man himself. This is our real guest. Me and John were going to get out regardless, but then <laughs> Jason's like, I want to join. I was like, come here. I'm not going to say no, no to jo uh, Jason. No, no. Yeah, right? That was awesome. No, it was it was epic. Couldn't appreciate it. Uh, fellowship in the mountains, hanging out, good buddies. I'm sure we lifelong friends. We already were friends, but no. Absolutely. No, share experiences like this and that epic trip. Uh, can't ask for much more. That's no. what makes it real. Yeah. Yeah. Making it real, keeping it real. That's Turkey Camp 2023 with Jason and John. Might have to be an annual thing. For sure. I, I don't know. If you guys will have me back, I will <laughs> be back. <laughs> hey, as long as you don't bring the hot dogs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not feeding you hot dogs anymore yeah, anyway. That was awesome. But uh. that's a wrap. So we're going to pack up here. And Jason's got like a six and a half hour drive. And John and I, we got to hit home. Yeah. We're all ready for showers. Desperate. So showers. with that you said. had a shower. I don't even want to hear it. Yeah. I, I took a shower mid middle of the trip. But I'm still stinky. So. Yeah, he stinks. Anyway, what a fun hunt. We're, we're out of here. It was a blast. Such a fun hunt.